Hey everyone, this is Sugandha and you're watching Ready for SS English and I hope so you all are well and you're all waiting for my sessions. Today we will be discussing what? Today we will be discussing session 2 of uh, HR operations interview questions and answers and I hope so you have seen last session which was uh, session 1 and uh, where I have included uh, 8 questions on HR operations, right? So, if you haven't seen, please do check uh, a pinned comment. Uh, you can find a proper playlist of HR operations and uh, there you can find the three sessions basically. First session is of roles and responsibilities. Second session is of skills and uh, third session is of interview questions. And now this is the fourth uh, session, but actually for the interview question, it is session two. Fine. So, let's get started with it and I would be including 7 questions. So, stay till last and you can like the session after uh, last question. Okay. So, this is the ninth question. Uh, how do you stay updated on HR systems and technology advancements? Now, here we will be talking about HR systems and technology. We all know that HR systems and technology is uh, very important. We need to remember that uh, we need to stay updated with the systems and technology as technology is rapidly changing right so we can answer this question by saying to stay updated on hr systems and technology i actively participate in relevant webinars attend industry conferences and engage with professional hr communities i also maintain subscriptions to hr technology publications and collaborate with it teams to identify opportunities for system upgrades and process automation now one disclaimer if you are a fresher so what you can say is that uh, you uh, stay updated with all these things and how you stay updated for this you need to do certain things in your daily life and that is uh, my advice that uh, please join LinkedIn if you are on LinkedIn then please follow few groups, few pages, few websites related to HR, related to technology, related to system, related to AI so that you can say that yes you attend these kind of webinars, conferences and you are connected with the professional HR communities means you need to do certain changes to answer this question and you must do this because you need to remain updated with the, the technology and this is the only way you can do it because uh, you need to mention a specific groups they will be asking okay if you are on LinkedIn what all groups you are following then what you will say so I can't provide you that uh, groups or I can't provide you that yes you can say this because they would be asking another question like uh, what all kind of articles uh, you have seen and uh, what all uh, seminars you have attended they would be asking you details about those seminars conferences pages articles okay so obviously you need to do it yourself to answer this question even if you are experienced then also you should do this you must remain updated with this uh, systems and technologies fine next is uh, related to next question is related with the uh, reporting and analytics which is also very upcoming uh, you can say a profile analytics so this is like how do you use hr uh, reports and analytics to provide insights for decision making now hr reports and analytics play a vital role in a strategic decision making i regularly generate reports on key hr metrics such as turnover rates employee engagement levels and training effectiveness by analyzing workforce data I identify trends and present actionable insights to HR and management teams, enabling them to make informed decisions to enhance organizational performance. Okay, this is like reports play a vital role in strategic decision making. And yes, regularly when we generate reports on turnover rates, employee engagement levels, training effectiveness, then yes, this helps to identify the trends and yes, actionable insights to HR and uh, management teams also. Fine. So next question is with the legal and regulatory compliance. Now, how do you ensure HR practices align with labor laws and regulations? To ensure compliance with labor law and regulations, I stay informed about legislative updates and industry best practices through legal resources and professional networks. I work closely with legal counsel to review and update HR policies accordingly. Moreover, I regularly conduct compliance audits to identify any gaps and promptly address them to mitigate potential risk. Obviously, we need to comply with the labor laws and regulations and we need to stay informed about these uh, legislative updates and industry best practices. 
so for that we need to consult even the legal representatives uh, many times like legal counsel and uh, yes we need to conduct compliance audits to identify the gaps and yes we can uh, mitigate the potential risk as soon as possible next is employee engagement initiatives how do you contribute to employee engagement initiatives now there is one session on employee engagement on my other channel that is ready to get a bit if you are well versed in hindi language then you can have a look on that session from there and uh, but if you want this uh, session here then yes you can ask me in the comment section fine so employee engagement is crucial for organizational success and uh, i actively participate in planning and execution of engagement activities such as team building events recognition programs and employee surveys i analyze survey results to gauge employee satisfaction and identify areas that require attention and improvement by involving employees in the decision making process i aim to foster a positive work culture and enhance overall engagement now what is employee engagement basically employee engagement is employee satisfaction commitment dedication towards the work fine that passion from inside that is employee engagement uh, but yes we can do lot to increase that uh, or to motivate the employees uh, to perform their work uh, in an efficient manner so for that we need to conduct certain employee engagement activities and uh, as we all know that recognition programs rewards and recognition programs helps lot in this because uh, we are motivating them we are appreciating them by recognizing them okay so next is off boarding and exit processes now what is off boarding uh, there is one session i think you have seen on this channel i have already uploaded on this channel what is off boarding yes uh, the, you can say this is an employee bye bye okay <laughs> and uh, in a, a fine way in a nice way uh, when we are saying uh, employee uh, when employee is basically leaving the organization and uh, we are conducting all the exit formalities in an uh adequate manner then it is called basically a good off boarding process okay so how do you ensure a smooth off boarding experience for departing employees so off boarding is a critical stage in the employee life cycle and i ensure a smooth transition for departing employees by guiding them through the necessary paperwork and exit interviews i collect feedback to identify errors for improvement and address any concerns they may have Additionally I ensure that all access to company systems is revoked and that knowledge transfer occurs to preserve critical knowledge within the organization okay uh, obviously uh, you need to inform about the necessary paperwork and exit interviews need to needs to be done and uh, yes collect feedback so that we can improve uh, we have certain areas where we have to improve and yes address any concerns if uh, they have and yes uh, all the access to company systems uh, should be revoked and the knowledge transfer occurs to preserve critical knowledge okay next is how vendor management now what is vendor management how do you manage relationships with hr service providers and vendors now effective vendor management involves building strong relationships based on clear communication and mutual expectations i collaborate with vendors to establish service level agreements and regularly review their performance to ensure they meet contractual obligations open lines of communication and periodic meetings help address any issues promptly and maintain a positive partnership okay obviously clear communication and mutual expectations they need to be clear properly for building strong relationships and uh, yes collaboration is important and uh, we need to review their performance to ensure that yes contractual obligations are met or not last and this is uh, continuous process improvement how do you identify opportunities for process optimization with hr operations now process improvement is an ongoing effort to enhance efficiency i actively solicit feedback from hr team members and stakeholders to identify pain points and inefficiencies i analyze data and conduct process mapping exercises to identify bottlenecks and errors for improvement by staying open to innovative ideas and best practices i continuously strive to optimize hr operations for the benefit of the organization now see obviously process improvement is an ongoing effort uh, you can't say that yes this process is improved now everything is fine no this is an ongoing process 
so what you need to do is that you need to actively solicit feedback from hr team members and yes obviously uh, identify from the stakeholders the pain points and where the inefficiencies are there after that we need to analyze the data and yes conduct a process mapping exercises so that we can identify the bottlenecks and areas for improvement so we need to be innovative in our ideas and uh, we must use best practices so that uh, we can optimize the hr operations fine so this is all and i hope so this was helpful if it's helpful please do let me know in the comment section and yes what all sessions you want that also fine so till next video all the very best to stay happy stay safe thanks for watching bye bye